looking at the specs, Canon's new T6S sounds like a bold step in the right direction. It's the first truly new sensor in a Rebel camera for something like five years, which is basically forever. What really makes this camera interesting, though, is the pro-style control layout, with a top LCD display and dedicated aperture and shutter speed control dials. But is that really enough to make the T6S appeal to enthusiast photographers? Despite the new sensor and controls, this is still very much a Rebel. As such, we felt it best to begin this test by taking pictures of our lattes. Plus, I had a pretty bad headache and needed some caffeine. The camera's hybrid live view autofocus helped me capture those creative angles with ease. Actually, the live view autofocus is really quite good. It's not quite as fast as the best mirrorless systems, but it's much better than most other DSLRs. The sensor performed decently under mixed lighting, making my latte look every bit as delicious as it tasted. But I did notice considerable noise in the RAW files, even at base ISO. So for all you 70D shooters out there, don't worry. This new Rebel may look better on paper, but the extra 4 megapixels comes at a price. I do really appreciate that Canon has improved the control layout of this camera, but I have to caution photo enthusiasts. It still feels like a Rebel. The plastic body is not weather sealed, the controls feel chintzy in comparison to a 70D or 70 Mark II, and the viewfinder is painfully small. But looking beyond what the T6S lacks for the enthusiast to what it brings to the table for the beginner, I may be so bold as to call this camera best in class, so long as we narrowly define that class as new DSLR cameras costing less than $900. Sure, pixel peepers will find less noise in an Nikon D5500 file and more dynamic range, but these aren't the people who typically buy cameras in this class. The T6S is a very well thought out machine, and I actually found it quite fun to use, despite the minuscule viewfinder. The 19 point all cross type autofocus system is lightning fast. The touch screen was intuitive and responsive, and transferring photos to a smartphone over Wi Fi was impressively quick, faster than any other camera I've tested. If the extra level of control isn't that important to you, you can get the same sensor and features, albeit with a truncated video mode, in the less expensive T6i. But personally, I'd opt for the S model. It provides a great starting point for beginners and students without the common frustrations associated with entry-level DSLRs, other than the ridiculously small viewfinder. And it takes away much of the learning curve when moving to a higher-end camera that shares the same control scheme. So while this isn't the small, enthusiast DSLR we've all been waiting for, it is a very positive step in the right direction, and a camera that any novice photographer would be happy to have. Most importantly, the T6S puts your iPhone to shame when it comes to showing off your morning latte or capturing a mouth-watering photo of your lunch. <laughs>